Hello everyone, welcome to Docolot Network. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install DNS that is Domain Naming System in Windows Server 2008 R2. You can also install the same procedure Windows 2003 or 2002 also. So this is the configuration that I have made. I am going to install the 5 steps. This is Internet Basics, Host and LM5, DNS Naming Harajar. And lock lookup zones, forward and reverse zones, resources, records, RI integration with ADS, and SRV record forwarder and dynamic updates. This is the file, and I'm going to show you in this uh, DNS configuration. So, to install the DNS, first of all, we need to go to uh, admin all programs, administrator tool, we need to find server manager. Uh, this is a server manager, is a click on server manager, and you need to go to uh, add roles. You can click here add roles also and you can also right click and go to add roles upon clicking you need to find dns so here i have already installed the dns so you have to install the dns by checking this configure simple procedure is there to install you just need to uh, clicking on next two steps is there upon clicking on two step it will be installed dns and here <coughs> And I'm going to show creating a standard primary uh, that is forward lookup zone now. So to, to create a forward lookup zone, so we need to click on start and I need to click on administrative <coughs> wait and click on start administrative tool DNS. We need to find DNS here. My DNS is there after installing, just click on corner and then we need to <coughs> upon clicking on DNS, uh, we need to click on expand this one <coughs> here is the forward zone right click and create a new zone <coughs> then we need to click on next so here is the zone types is there so we need to select a primary zone and uh, we need to remove the checkbox if it is this one store and this one uh, primary zone okay we need to uncheck this store zone in active directory and then we need to click on next <coughs> we need to assign a do zone so i'm giving a zone name that my uh, zone uh, zone name like m c s c dot com and i need to click you can give any zone name like it's showing for example you can give this is a <coughs> clicking on next so it's creating mcitp dot domain dot dns okay we need to click on the dynamic and click on next and so here is dynamic update is the next option this is option so we need to uh, check do not allow any one means you need to check this option allow both non secure and secure dynamic updates we need to check and uncheck does do not allow okay click on next so here is the complete configuration so you can read it and <coughs> click on finish after that we need to check in the dns console zone that you have it and not in the right panel here you can see the console which we have created mcse <coughs> mcse here you can see standard uh, is running double click you will find this parents folder name start of identity name authorities has been created <coughs> now i am going to create a uh, host records for the standard primary zone host records and creating so we need to right click on this mcsetp and we need to create a host records you can see host a or a that is a is nothing but alias we need to click here and we need to give a host name on the system name that is use the primary of like i am giving a user one here you can give any name instead of user name and the configuration we need to enter the iap address here the fully qualified domain showing user one dot mcse.com I need to give a IP address that I am giving 10.0.0.1. So here, <coughs> after that, we need to click on add host. Don't check this box up for TRD. So here it has been created. Okay. Then after that, I am going to click on them. So we need to create an alias record for this host to them. So for that one, we need to right click on this uh, zone. Like this one is a forward zone note so we need to click right click here for creating alias record and right click and click on this uh, new alias cname 
so we need to click here and we need to give a alias name like I am giving www okay so he's giving www.mpsc.com and the system for early python name you can use browse and uh, you can click on this one system is for only for zone and say say and use one okay you need to select this one click on and click okay and see here the user dot mcc has been selected okay then you need to click on okay and then we need to open the command prompt to check about this and click on uh, windows r shortcut and to type uh, cmd okay press enter and then we need to ping it i'm going to ping in here by typing fully qualified domain name like i am typing the fully qualified name www www.mcsc.com so this is my at present so check if it is pinging or not so here it's not pinging because i have given the ip address different that's why this is was not working in case of you need to give assign the ip address with the system having ip address so you need to assign that ip address so it will be resolved into this ip address name so this is a procedure so when you ping <coughs> www dot uh, domain name you will get <coughs> domain name, uh, ip address of this uh, www dot or you can use user dot <coughs> mcsc like i am giving user one dot mcsc dot com also so in case <coughs> this will ping i have given the wrong ip address that's why it's not pinging so now i am going to create for this uh, reverse lookup zone after creating forward door zone and creating a reverse lookup zone right click on this reverse lookup zone go to create a new zone and then you need to click next <coughs> we need to select primary zone ok we need to uncheck this option ok store zone upon click next we need to check ip address 4 or ip address 6 version click on next <coughs> here we need to assign a <coughs> We need to assign a network ID here now that in case I am giving 192.168. And need to assign from here 192.168.0. Okay, then dot. to give first three octet number which i have given first three octet 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 number so you can see this is using reverse to curve zone ip address we need to click on next so here is creating a new file with the file name okay then we need to click on next so here we need to check allow both option and secure and uh, we need to click on finish now after that we need to creating a pointer record so i am going to restarting here now i am going to create a scope pointer creating a pointer we need to click on starts and then we need to click on dns and then we need to go to uh, reverse lookups expand this one after that we need to click on reverse okay here and then we need to expand this one also and then we need to right click go to new pointer here ptr and there from here you can see the ip address so here we need to assign fourth of time here uh, by 120 is my system ip address server which i have assigned it's the four of 10 i have given we need to click browse and we need to click and system name forward because then and we need to click here um, this mcsc and we need to add a user here okay so when i have been added here uh, you can see mcs uh, user one dot mcsc dot com so we need to click ok after that verification we need to open the command prompt typing windows r cmd press enter and we need to check by typing ms <coughs> look up we need to give the ip address 192.168.0.120 is ip address for my system here you can see this under 
name user one dot mcc dot com which is the cam. So, <coughs> so this one is the have been assigned, and now I am going to <coughs> configure. Configuring creating secondary zone so that means the configuration once has been put on going to the second con secondary zone. The same procedure to follow that right click on the forward look up zone, you create a new zone, then you need to select on next. So, here to create a second zone, you need to select a second option. Upon click next, you can give a name of this secondary zone that I am giving my secondary zone like mcitp mcitp.com ok this is a secondary domain name i am giving or also i am you can give mcc same domain name next so here you need to <coughs> selecting this ip address and click to add ip address ok and then to add ip address server IP address and click ok it has been validated we need to click next finish so already exits with the same domain can be created go back here and giving mcit ok next we need to assign this one delete actually it has taken so we can assign 121 here okay. click on next finish so this is the procedure for secondary creating a zone name and uh, uh, to giving a zone transfer like so we i'm going to creating first up zone right click on this forward cut zone go to near zone and click on next you can click on stop zone and check uh, this one box and then to click on next after that so just give a name and then back i'm giving anything like i'm giving this one dot com right next you need to assign click on next you need to assign the ip address upon click on next it has been created okay now this is one i'm going to i'm going to creating a active directory integrated primary zone so primary act integrated with active directory means so we need to click on new zone click on next we need to check this box now this this one there uh, now we have to check this for this uh, integrating with active directory so we'll click next we need to click to to all the dns server with this domain running on the server okay click on next after that we need to give a zone name like you can give a zone name like i'm giving a zone name direct www or www cloud and next to go back cloud network dot ok next here we need to allow the secure update recommend active directory only ok now verification click on next so to verify this we need to log in with the zoom.com this is a here yeah, you can see this one and we double click to expand so this is the file which i have been created with the primary zone name server authority has been created so with this one so this is the procedure for this creating a dns so thank you for what thank you for watching article on my video please subscribe to article on my if you have any problem if you have any doubt you can comment below to my video